With the DRI free update, we are now able to have high FPS in Box 64 and extra gear, which leads to playable frame rates or even frame rates above 100 FPS. As follows, you can see which chips are supported to use Turnip Sync or DXVK in general. It's basically from Adreno 610 up to Adreno 700 series. I'm sorry MediaTek or Exynos chips are not supported due to Mali GPU. The first DRI free patch was in very early stage and it's still for experimental use, but some games tests already proved that the FPS is greatly increased. Thankfully Tamoxbox has already implemented this feature. If you have Tamoxbox installed, just make sure you have updated to the latest version. You will see an option free to run Box64 with the new turnip mode. Just type free to run Box64. In case you missed information, please make sure you use the updated Tamox X11, especially for the new turnip mode. You can also see the difference in the app icon. If you install the wrong Tamox app, just uninstall it and put the correct Tamox to your device. Now you are successfully booted into desktop, we need to install the correct drivers. In my example I'm using the Snapdragon 860 with the Adreno 640. So I will use Turnip Main DRI free. The selection of A7XX is for the 7 or 8 gen chips. After installing the drivers we need to choose the DXVK version. Personally I'm always using version 2.2 which has the best performance in my opinion. The dev version is experimental and may lead to black screen or freeze in some games. Version 1.10.3 can be used if the game freezes or doesn't work correctly. Before you try to run any game, let's make sure if your settings works in general. If the benchmark fails to run, then no games will run either. So this is the best way to find out if your Tamox box works correctly. This benchmark will only works on drive C, so please make sure to copy it to drive C before you run it. If you see a teapot, then everything is fine. And if the FPS is very high, then DRLI3 works as expected. Keep in mind that the FPS as shown here in this video is very low due to screen recording. Without screen recording, it would be over 1000 FPS with a Snapdragon 860. The latest extra gear mod from Alien comes already with default settings for the new turnip mode. Unlike the extra gear all mod, this is based only on Wine 7.1 and turnip sync or DXVK. Install your desired APK, in my case the Enter2 APK, and install it. After installing the app, you need to choose the OBP file, select it, and it will be extracted. After that, you now need to set the location for Drive D first, which can improve storage access for Android 11 and higher user. Also, the option to put Drive D in your SD card is possible. As my device don't have external storage, I can use this option. The requirements must be valid to continue, so we need to create a folder in the mentioned path named either download or extra gear folder.
Now opening the app again, it shows the requirements are now valid and can be closed if OK and prompts us to restart the app. Now you are ready to create a container with your settings like resolution, which controls and which location language. Launch a TFM shortcut and let's wait until first installation is completed. You can skip that mono installer, it's only optional. Now tap with four fingers to open the drop menu and quit the desktop. Launch TFM shortcut again and now the screen should be fully displayed on a tablet. Right here you can see the default TFM is already active for DRI3. Just install your desired DXUK version like Thermoxbox and choose your D sound. I'm choosing D Sound 5 for my personal use. I recommend to install the Redist package for some games. The version 2015 and higher needs an higher iOS than Windows XP, so set a Wine config at least Windows Vista or higher and run the setup again. Just before you try to run any game, run at first a benchmark to see if your settings works in general. If so, then it's completed. If this video was very helpful, just leave a like or a comment. Thank you for watching.